Marcus Conti reporting on the borderline shooting. You ready for this? Hold on for this shit. <laughs> you cannot make this up. And uh, starting to get real. First, I want to read something. Wear my uh, What It Is shirt. <clears throat> because from uh, Nathan Stoltman has given us amazing information. Amazing breaking information on this uh, sh potential shooting. Is that what it is? A shooting? I'm going to find out. So I'm reading from the Post. This is also breaking news. <clears throat> California bar shooter killed himself. Autopsy finds. New York Post. The troubled Marine Corps veteran gunned down 12 people at a California bar. Ended the attack by taking his own life, officials determined. Ian David Long, 28. Died of a single self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head, an autopsy shows, confirming what had the what what had been cops' working theory since the nightmarish massacre. Dr. Christopher Young, get the names. Dr. Christopher Young, the chief medical examiner for Ventura County, declined to reveal whether any physical abnormalities were found during the examination and added that his office is still awaiting the full toxicology report. All right, so, they, so there is an odd autopsy on the, on the shooter. So now there's, told, I just want to re recap. I'm going to, I'm going to talk about the victims. That's the biggest part of this, uh, this uh, victims, quote victims, bodies. That's what we're looking for, we're looking for bodies. All right, so, but before I do that, I got to do an advertisement. I'm fucking... Oh my God, my fucking nigga, motherfucking guy, motherfucking, look at this shit, oh my God, fucking Conti's a, pick Conti 2020. <laughs> Damn, this shit is fucking dope, man, fucking look at this shit, look at that shit, man, fucking rock star, that's some rock star shit right there, I love that. Let me get this one. You're gonna love this. Oh God! Damn! Damn! Oh my God! Okay. Look at this shit, man. It's like um, right out of uh, I Am Legend. That's the Brooklyn Bridge over there. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna read this. Let me read this to you. This is the uh, a report that has come to us from the uh, medical people. Let me just get to the page. All right. What it is, is basically it's a, uh, a release for immediate release <coughs> regarding the November 8 update. Los, Lob Los Robles Regional Medical Center report on Thousand Oaks mass casualties. They called it mass, mass casualties. But listen, is it a mass casualty? I don't know. On behalf of the care team at Los Robles Regional Medical Center, we extend our sympathies and thoughts to support the victims and their family members as we face this tragic aftermath. Los Robles Regional Trauma Center received 11 patients as a result of last night's shooting at the Borderline Bar and Grill. The patients sustained gunshot wounds and laceration injuries. No patients were admitted and 10 were treated and released. One patient, Sergeant Ron Hellas, with the Ventura County Sheriff's Department, died at Los Robles. All right. look, now look, just stop at the facts, right? The, the patients, all 11 of these patients, sustained gunshot wounds. And laceration injuries. Okay, so there are people that survived this incident that have gunshot wounds. That's what it says to me, right? It doesn't, it only says one dead body. One dead body, the cop. Our hearts are with the family of slain Sergeant Ron Hillis and with his extended family, the Ventura County Sheriff's Department, and with all the victims of this tragedy. We are working with our sheriff's office at this hour to return. Hellas, a hero to his family and his brothers and sisters in the sheriff's department. 
Our response began just after midnight as we received the first patient, our trauma center and ER teams, including, again, names, trauma surgeon Dr. Walid Arnott and emergency room physician Dr. David Mataro and all supporting departments worked to triage and treat the victims. All right, so... So that is amazing stuff, right? So what do we hear there? We hear, we heard that uh, eleven it was thirteen dead people, right? That's what the that's what the official report is. There were shots fired, thirty shots. The last I heard, thirty shots were fired. Oh, the other thing I'll say about the gunman is that that uh, the the post is confirming to an autopsy of some sort that that the shooter died of one headshot, a self inflicted headshot. But as as um, Nathan and Lift of Ale pointed out when you when you see the um, when you listen to the, uh, the the police report, they had said that the shooter was shot three times in the chest. So there is a discrepancy there, right? And it also it also adds to the to the fact it adds fuel to the fire that if 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 the initial okay these people are all military trained they're all fucking I don't remember where I heard it exactly but I remember hearing. One of the reports said that 30 shots were fired, right? 30 shots or 35 shots were fired, and now and there's 13 people killed. Three of the shots went into the shooter, right? No misses, right? It was a couple of straight bullets. Then we see the CNN uh, uh, video, shots flashing into the dark, right? smoke bombs flashing. But we don't see any people. We don't see the story of, like the girl, like the, the lesbian girl said that they were all dog piled on top of each other hey, where's where where where's the fucking shot where's the picture no picture there's nothing so let's look at um let's look at the actual victims the victims of this thing let's fuck away. And if you if you stop the frames, you could see the the little blurbs down below. So these are the alleged twelve people that were decimated in the in the South Oaks, South Oaks, Thousand Oaks event. Right? Young people. That's a shooter. Right? Pow, look at them. All these people are dead. Right. It's just, it's just fun to, I mean, it's just, you know what I mean? It's just a flash by, right? Are they real? Is it real? Are we seeing the real thing? Is that what, is that what's going on here? Are these the 12 people that, 11 people that went to the hospital? Or are these other people? Are these the same? Are these the dead people? Or are these the people that showed up at the hospital? Right? Is this... Is did the hospital receive the injured, or did the hospital receive these people and let them go out the back door, because we don't see any bodies, right? So now that you know who these people are, you can find out more about them. Extend yourself to the families. I've already seen some GoFundMe pages pop up. The one guy, Cody something or other, has thirty-eight thousand dollars already in his GoFundMe account. The only confirmed death, medically determined death, is the cop. And I saw, I saw stuff that said that the cop was uh, awaiting retirement. <laughs> is he part of a CIA operation? Did he, is he part of it? 
Did he really die and walk into a blaze of gunshots unexpectedly? Or did he maybe expose an operation in effect and wasn't part of it and then was silenced? That is a possibility. But what's, what's factual at this point is that there's really only one body so far, right? And a story about another 12, and we just saw the rolling pictures of the 12, but they were only injured. And some of them had gunshot wounds. So where's some of these people? Could someone come forward and show me a gunshot wound? Right? Where's the ballistics? Where's the ballistics of the dead? Right? Because ballistics show a lot. Right? When, you, when you analyze the ballistics of a shooting, you know what angle the bullets flew out. I, I mean, they, you could almost tell with remarkable accuracy the direction of the bullets, the, 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 the distance the bullet hit the body, the shells, where the, where the shooter was, what angle he was at. So much is revealed in those ballistic reports. But we'll never see them, will we? So somebody sent, somebody sent, sent this to me. It says, um, the CIA owns everyone of any significance in the major media. William Colby, former CIA director. We'll know our disinformation program is complete when everything the American public believes is false, unquote. William Casey, CIA, CIA director from first staff meeting, 1981, said that. Quote, Deception is a state of mind and the mind of the state. John Engleton, head of CIA counterintelligence, 1954 to 1974. So we got, you know, a shoot, a shooting, or an operation. We have dead bodies, or we have military personnel engaging a secretive kind of covert operation with the CIA to convince us that up is down and down is up. What would be the motive? Let's talk about a motive and then I'll, I'll wrap it up. Motive. So rights grab, right? A rights grab to grab your rights away from you. What are you hearing? What are, what are the talking heads saying? The quote victims. They're talking about, I want gun control, gun control. Take away your gun so that you can't fight back. Take away your power. Take away your arms. That's one. Second Amendment grab. The other one is and is is seemingly more and more important because you always hear that they're that the shooter's crazy, the shooter's uh, unstable, right? A rights grab in terms of mental illness. So that if half the country is diagnosed as being mentally ill, right? You 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 know you submit to a doctor and you end up on medication. You uh, and then. And then you're on, you're, you're mentally, you have a diagnosis of mental illness, right? Then you're prone, you're, you're more subject to incarceration, to illegal containment, search and seizure. All these things kick in, right? So that is the motive. Is there, it's also to instill fear. Because when people are fr afraid, when they're gaslighted so bad that they can't, they can't see the evidence anymore. Right, the ev when the evidence is right in front of your face, and they then they look at they look for the story. Right, John Brannon, the CIA director, said that we don't do evidence. That's what he said when when he was faced with the Hillary Clinton Comey uh, uh, thing. Right, he said we don't do evidence. CIA director, I don't do evidence. What are you talking about? Evidence is that I don't do evidence. Right, and I say to John Brennan that. I don't do spycraft. Right? I don't do imaginary bullshit stories. I don't do emotion. Right? I don't do emotion. I don't, you know, it's not that I don't care. I just, it doesn't have any, it doesn't have any weight in the greater picture. Who's crying, who's not crying, who's hurt by the incident. That's all TV. Show me the bodies. Show me the evidence. And then I'll shut up. Name is Marcus Conti reporting.